We need a shtick here at Mythical Kitchen where it's like Josh kicks an egg yolk into your mouth or something. Everyone, brainstorm what I can kick into people's mouths at a restaurant. Welcome to Mythical Kitchen where when you're here, your family, but also I'm loving it. All right, today I'm gonna show you how to make the Olive Garden McMuffin. It's something that probably shouldn't exist, but I really am glad that it does exist insofar as any of this exists, because if we're being real, we're all probably living in a computer simulation. We first made this dish for Willet McMuffin over on GMM. It was referred to as a miraculous encapsulation. I can confirm that that is all true, and what better way to stick it to your machine overlords than to uh, saturate a breakfast sandwich in garlic butter. The machines hate garlic butter. It, it gets caught in their gears, and then they can't surveil you. We've broken the recipe down into three easy steps. You can snag those time codes right there. We also got a full written recipe down in the description. Let's get to McMuffin'. All right, we got our resident Baker Boy in-house, Trevor, and not to be confused with Australian rapper Baker Boy again, but he does have a new single out called Ride, and it's a banger. He and I uh, DM'd a little Did bit. Did you just use my intro to plug some Australian he's rapper? He's the better, but he's not just some Australian rapper. He's Baker Boy. He's actually, he's really incredible. Trevor is an incredibly talented baker. He's the one who made the garlic butter English muffins for the Will at McMuffin episode. So I figured he should teach you how to make these right now. We got a little bit of parsley, we got butter, we got some crushed garlic in there. And we're gonna like baste these as they fry up on the griddle with the garlic butter. You know, I had an Olive Garden breadstick today, I'm not gonna lie to you. And they're very garlicky and very mm. buttery. It's like movie theater butter. It's mystery oil. How much is the most Olive Garden breadsticks you've eaten at one trip to the Olive Garden? I don't know, I couldn't give you a number, but I assume you do have a number since you brought it up. Ask me. How many? Twelve. <laughs> We're gonna just punch these out circles. And we actually do need to let these go through a little bit of a second proof since we punched a lot of that gas out of there. But look at that circle. Isn't That's that lovely. nice? And it's so uniform too. Yeah. Say you want to go into the McDonald's and you want your English muffins fresh for your sandwich. Can you bring your own dough and ask McDonald's if you can use their griddle? I would not recommend that. I don't, I don't think you should put that kind of stress on the minimum wage employees at the McDonald's. Okay, we're gonna let these sit. We're gonna cover them up. We're gonna let them go through a second proof for about 20 minutes. Don't. I'm covering them up. Okay. Trevor, we have been here for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Here they are. We're gonna get a little bit of semi. Is this hot, Josh? Can you? Don't touch it. No, don't touch it. I have a, look, I have a burn scar on me. I was doing a grilling and chilling night and I chilled a little too hard and grilled my hand. Okay, we're just gonna put these on here and let them sit and they're gonna get really poofy and lovely and crispy on the bottom. This is a really cool technique. Look at us teaching yeah. people how to cook. Yeah! You better make this or we're gonna not do any real food anymore yeah. and it's just gonna be me and Nicole cooking fancy cat food with Mountain Dew. And I'll be sad. Josh, I have a question. Did you bring me here because you just wanted me to make you English muffins or did you want to like hang out with me too? Yeah, you know? no, when you're here, your family. <laughs> oh, is, is this the Olive Garden? Yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> now, I'm just gonna brush these down with a ton of garlic butter as they continue to heat. Yeah. Fun fact, I'd never made a homemade English muffin before the Will McMuffin episode. <laughs> it's not a common thing that people like would make. No, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, Trevor, these are, these are freaking awesome. These would be delicious. You got all the flavor, of the Olive Garden garlic butter on there. Yeah. But all the circles of a McDonald's. Of a McDonald's. This is really great. Do I get to taste this when you're done or did you just bring me here to make you English muffins? I can, I can save you like some butter. Uh, I'm calling these eggs a la McDonald's a la Metrichana. I mean, these little round egg molds. We're gonna try and do this exactly like McDonald's does where they kind of like fry their eggs in these little rings. We do that and then we're gonna make what I'm calling bootleg amatrichana sauce. Amatrice is a town in Italy and they got a very delicious sauce that is uh, spicy, tomatoey, it has guanciale in it. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're spraying down the molds, we're trying to get them lubed up a little bit. One thing I do respect about McDonald's, they do crack their eggs fresh in stores, which is hard. Cracking eggs is a difficult task. Ha, <laughs> take that Ronald. It's gonna crack those in there and then I don't wanna run a yolk. I'm trying to do this exactly McDonald's style. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna take an offset and I'm just gonna pierce the yolk a little bit. That way it should stay nice and hard, just like the yolk at McDonald's. And then now we have our pot heating up for the sauce. I'm gonna drop a little bit of olive oil in there just to kinda get the juices flowing a little bit. This is about to get my juices flowing, if you know what I mean. So we got our bacon into the pot. I'm gonna add some onions directly into that as well. We're just gonna stir this up. We're trying to get the fat rendered out of the bacon. I figured bacon would be a way to sort of like wrap the breakfast theme into this Olive Garden McMuffin. You know where I would eat Olive Garden breakfast? The airport, right before a big crowded flight. I have a theory that farts don't smell on airplanes. Can anyone else verify this? We got some black pepper and we got some red pepper. And I'm gonna take a little salt and I'm gonna just do it like that one schmuck. Are people like still on Salt Bay's side? Do people still, after like six years of him doing that, they still get excited about him? We need a shtick here at Mythical Kitchen where it's like Josh kicks an egg yolk into your mouth or something. 
you know? And then we can open up a whole chain of restaurants about it. Everyone, brainstorm what I can kick into people's mouths at a restaurant. All right, bacon's rendering out. You see, we got some lovely color on those onions. It's smelling all nice and breakfasty in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some tomato puree. This is San Marzano tomato puree. It's not, it's just normal. It's like whatever Smart and Final had. This is San Smart and Final O. All right, these eggs are looking almost set. All I'm gonna do is pull up these very hot metal things. Look at that, we got our little McMuffiny eggs. I'm just gonna take a little offset spatula and just give it a little flip and just give it a little flip. And now we wait exactly 21 seconds. Everyone count down. 18. All right, great, the eggs are cooked. So. I'm gonna go ahead under there and then we're just gonna toss the eggs directly in the sauce. What does this step do? I don't know, I, I didn't have anywhere else to put the eggs. So I'm gonna put them in the sauce. They're gonna kinda hang out there. They're just gonna absorb all that tomato flavor, splash up some sauce. I'm gonna grate some parm on there. We're just gonna let that sort of melt into the sauce, get on those eggs, and then we'll save some fresh for later. Eggs are done, next up, sausage, let's do it. Rachel Ray, all the time, 30 minute meals, she would mix seasonings with ground meat and then fry it up and say, that makes it a sausage patty. And then I would try it at home and it didn't work. But then in my adult life, I figured out what you need to do is you mix the seasonings with the ground meat and then you gotta let it sit for like at least an hour or overnight in the fridge. So we got some ground pork and a bowl and we're gonna add all the Italian stuff. I do this trick, Nicole loves this trick. Nicole, you ready for this? Yeah. I'm gonna do it fast, all right, check it out. Salt, sugar, <laughs> crushed red pepper, basil, black pepper, garlic, fennel. Oregano. I missed a lot of it. You're gonna take it off the counter. This is freshly clean. We're gonna get a little bit of cleaning solution into the sausage. But again, that's what gives sausage a signature snap is that little bit of Windex. So you're gonna take this, you're gonna mash up and really try and like kind of agitate the sausage, kind of get a couple palm heel strikes going in there. Wait, guys, that's our Salt Bay restaurant. It's just a palm heel strike restaurant. We get Boss Rutan to come to the opening. Also, uh, Nicole Trevor and V got me a cameo from Boss Rutan for my birthday and it really meant a lot to me and I just wanted to thank them for that. All right, so we kind of agitated this up. Traditionally when you make sausage, right, you put it through a grinder with the salt in it so you kind of get it all mixed up. But if you use your hands and just kind of like, you know, mash it around a little bit. Then we're gonna let this sit for about an hour uh, and then we're gonna fry up some sausages. All right, we take the Italian sausage mixture. We have put it into a ring mold that's just slightly bigger than the ring molds that we made the eggs and the McMuffins in, because it's gonna shrink up a little bit in the pan. So we're gonna take a little bit of olive oil because it's Italian. And then we're gonna fry out these sausage patties. Just drop a little sausage patty. Ooh, fry away a little sausage patty. Just press it in just a little bit. I'm gonna get another patty in there, you know, just for safety and making too. Sausage is frying away. We're gonna start building our Olive Garden Egg McMuffin. I'm gonna take one of these muffins here. Ooh. Oh, it smells like garlic butter and McMuffin. And we're gonna take a small square of American cheese. You might ask yourself, Josh, what's Italian about American cheese? Nothing. What happened here? It's just sweated onto the plate. We're gonna take the cheese. We're gonna pop that right on our English muffin and then the warmth from the sausage patty should help melt that cheese and we're gonna get the egg on there. And then we got one more special treat. This here is what we're calling Caesar aioli. It's anchovy paste, black pepper, Parmesan, lemon, and mayonnaise. Mayonnaise isn't traditionally on a McMuffin, but mayonnaise is traditionally inside my body. So I wanna put it back where it belongs. All right, so we're gonna take one of these sausage patties. I'm just gonna plop that right onto the cheese. That's looking fantastic. Now we need to take one of our little eggs. We're gonna take that, we're gonna plop it onto our McMuff. Now we're gonna take the top half of this English muffin. We're gonna brush it in a little bit of that Caesar aioli. <laughs> and then we're getting direct, we're getting direct mayonnaise to red sauce contact here, which is what I want. This is like at the Olive Garden when you take the Caesar salad and the spaghetti and you've kind of just given up on the week and you just mix the Caesar salad and spaghetti together and you're like, it all goes in the same place. That's what this is representing to me. So we're just gonna take that and I'm just gonna give it a little hat. And then now for the final piece, we're, I'm just gonna douse the whole thing in garlic butter, why not? When you hear you're saturated in, in hydrogenated oils. There we go, a little bit of fresh garlic butter goes a long way and a lot of fresh garlic butter, a lot goes even deeper. There you have it, here's your Olive Garden McMuffin. We got that beautiful Italian sausage breakfast patty in there. We got a little bit of American cheese. We got our Amatra Chana sauce marinated disc eggs. A little bit of Caesar aioli all topped with garlic butter. I cannot wait to dig into this and I cannot wait our very own Baker Boy, the one and only Baker Boy in my heart, Trevor Everts, to come give this a try. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this in half. I want Trevor to try it, but I want I want first dibs on it. Oh yeah, what, okay, here's the thing. We always talk about how much I love wet foods. To me, this is the amount of wetness that should be in your breakfast sandwich. Let's try it. Mm. <laughs> 
That's freaking good, man. I mean, that's really good. That was incredible, but Trevor, I need you to try this and we're gonna feed him with our new patented spork glove. Wow, magic. Trevor, it's sporking time. Trevor, are you excited to be fed with the new patented sport glove? That is evil. <laughs> well, we thought that the last sport wasn't really good at grabbing foods on the sport cam, so now, hold on, I'm gonna go ahead. You thought this was better? Yeah, yeah, Trevor, I'm gonna grab you some of this. Oh my god, stop. Trevor, here. Why is it a white glove? Here, I got you a sandwich. Well, it's a white glove, because it looks nice. It's a simple for How security. do you want me to get in there? Well, just any way you can. Just, yeah, yeah. Ow, okay. ow! There we go, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Do you want some freshly grated cheese? <laughs> this is working? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Does it taste nice? It's so good. It's good though, right? You made it, man. You did it. Wow. I like the fish mayonnaise. That's my favorite part. Magnificent. Splendid. <laughs> Trevor, thank you so much for being the new Sport Gloves first victim. And thank you all for watching Mythical Kitchen. We got new episodes for you every week. We got new episodes of our podcast every Wednesday. Hit us up on Instagram at Mythical Kitchen with pictures of your mythical dishes on our hashtag Dreams Become Food. Just like Tara did when she made our birria shaolong bao, the soup dumplings, except she actually did it with goat, which is really awesome. Birria de chivo is like one of my favorite foods of all time. Tara, you are an absolute rock star. Those dumplings look stupid good. And if you want your dish to be featured on an episode of Mythical Kitchen, post a picture on our hashtag Dreams Become Food, and then submit that through the form below, and you can be like Tara, except like what a talented cook she is to make that. That was a difficult recipe. Mm. Tara's a real hero, except for you, you're also the real hero. You should make this, it's really, really good. You should really make this, it's stupid good. Shred cheese with this though. It's a multi-purpose tool. It's a multi-tool. It's like a weird little horror movie. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, a... <laughs> ah, we'll see you next time. Bye. You can cook up your own feast while wearing the Mythical Kitchen Apron, available now at mythical.com.